Hi everyone, welcome to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. My name is Artem, and here is the news. 770 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Russian forces conducted another large-scale Shahed attack against Ukraine, in particular against the eastern city of Kharkiv, reports Suspilne. At least one civilian and three first responders were killed after they arrived at one of the places that were under attack, and another drone hit the area again. One more rescuer was wounded. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has stated that Russia is preparing to mobilize an additional 300,000 servicemen by 1st of June, reports Interfax Ukraine. When asked about the specific number of individuals to be mobilized into the Ukrainian army this year, Zelensky said, quote unquote, we don't need half a million. He refused to name the exact number. On 31st March, the decree on the spring military draft signed by Russian leader Vladimir Putin was released, and it was expected to bring 150,000 more Russians into the country's armed forces. Additionally, on 3rd April, the Russian Defense Ministry reported that over 100,000 people had joined the military service on contract since the beginning of this year. Ukraine's Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba said that Western countries had not given Ukraine sufficient numbers of Patriot air defense systems, despite having more than 100 Patriots in service, reports European Pravda. In an interview with Reuters, Kuleba said that he intends to bring up the issue of Patriot anti-aircraft missile systems at every meeting he has with his counterparts in Brussels over the next two days. He believes that Ukraine needs at least another five to seven Patriot systems, but its partners have so far been unwilling to share them. The minister added that he was convinced, quote-unquote, it's just an issue of political will. Kuleba also said it was not clear to him why the partners have so far not provided additional patriots, especially given that they do not face the missile threat that Ukraine faces every day. The New York Times, citing its own sources, informed that the Ukrainian defense industry is producing eight Bogdana self-propelled artillery systems per month, reports Militarny. According to the media, although officials will not say how many they've made in total, the increased output signals a potential boom in the country's domestic weapon production. The newspaper studied Ukrainian government documents, which state that over the past year alone, Ukrainian defense companies have built three times as many armored vehicles as they produced before the war, and increased production of anti-tank missiles fourfold. Ukraine had only one such 155mm system at the time of Russia's full-scale invasion. The Guardian learned from unnamed high-ranking intelligence officials that the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine is preparing a special operation to destroy the Crimean Bridge in the first half of 2024, reports Ukrainska Pravda. The publication said that Defense Intelligence believes it will be able to disable the bridge in the near future. The source added that the intelligence service already has most of the means to carry out this goal. The publication notes that it is currently unclear how the special operation will unfold, as Russia has taken significant measures to protect the bridge, by strengthening air defense and deploying a target barge as a decoy for incoming missiles. In July 2023, President Volodymyr Zelensky said that the Crimean bridge is a legitimate target for Ukraine because Russian invaders use it to transport weapons. This target should be neutralized, the president said. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family, as well as share information on social media. This way more people would learn about the podcast and truth about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Ukraine's defense intelligence informed that Russia has approximately 100 Su-34 fighter bombers and 100 Su-35 multi-role fighter jets reports Army Inform. The Russian Air Force also consists of seven A-50U airborne early warning and control system aircraft. Another three are being repaired and upgraded. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast. We are a commercial initiative of just two people and we need your help to grow. Share information about the podcast, rate us in the app, subscribe to our Patreon. With your support, we are getting better. 
call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.